This video will demonstrate the determination of a least squares regression line using the Casio ClassPad 2. This regression line will be fitted to bivariate data upon which a transformation has been performed. This additional step is required when presented with data suggesting a non-linear relationship between variables. This sort of calculation features in senior mathematics courses like VCE Further Mathematics and WACE Mathematics Applications, which require answers to questions like this one. The first step when fitting least squares regression lines to bivariate data is to enter the data into the ClassPads Statistics app. Unless these lists are already in use, enter the X values into list 1. This can be done using the numeric hard keyboard pressing execute between successive entries. Tap to the top of list 2 and to the Y values there in a similar fashion. In this question, a reciprocal transformation 1 over y is called for prior to calculating the least squares regression line. To perform this transformation and store the results in list 3, tap in the calculation row below list 3, enter the calculation 1 divided by list 2. To enter list 2 as part of this calculation, you can call up the name via the ClassPads catalogue, but it is probably quicker to type in its name using the ABC keyboard. With the transformation done, the least squares regression line can be determined. Open the Calc menu, select Regression and choose Linear Regression. Select the location of the data. Due to the transformation performed, the lists required are List 1 and List 3. If we were fitting the regression line to raw data, we would just have used List 1 and List 2. If further work with the regression line is required, as might be called for in an extended response question, then copying the formula is a helpful option. In this multiple choice question, this option is not required. Tap OK or press Execute to complete the calculation. The output of the linear regression line can be viewed in the form y equals a plus bx or in the form y equals ax plus b. The drop down arrow allows us to change between these two forms. Given the forms for the possible answers for this multiple choice question, the form y equals a plus bx is required. By comparing the values of a and b to the possible answers, and remembering that a reciprocal transformation has been performed on the variable y, we can see that the answer to this question is option a. Try using a similar method to answer the following question. This calls for a squared transformation on x prior to the determination of a least squares regression line. The correct answer is option B.